Today, we dive into an exciting adventure to uncover something truly astonishing for you. Just imagine a microscopic flying object equipped with a camera capable of giving us bird's eye views of the world. But drones are much more than just toys. This is Top Facts Channel. And in our today's hour-long episode, the most incredible things captured by drone cameras. I promise it's going to be really interesting, so sit back and let's go. An isolated tribe tucked away deep in the Amazon jungle lives its life in seclusion far from the rest of the world. These Brazilian forest natives prefer to remain anonymous, but technology in the form of a drone soaring over this mysterious area has detected their presence. With this drone, 16 figures were captured, some of whom were holding arrows. After that, the drone was directed to a neighboring forest where experts discovered another secret tribe. This time, it consisted of people covered in red and yellow paint. They are armed with arrows and spears, and one of them even showed aggression, threatening the passing drone. The drone became a key part in an amazing rescue operation of lost tourists who were trapped in Bayus Canyon for five hours. This incident occurred when a group of young adventurers ventured into the forests of Utah but got lost in the frosty thicket. Although a ground rescue squad was immediately dispatched to search for them, a drone also took part in solving the problem. The unmanned device helped locate two women who were eventually spotted by its camera. They were evacuated to a safe place using a hovercraft which pulled them out of the cold water surrounding the deep ice cliff on the ground. Observing the friendship between dogs and huge, strong, and extremely aggressive polar bears leaves one a bit shocked. Indeed, such behavior starkly contrasts with typical notions of nature. An old video clip shot by a drone in October 2007 at an unspecified location shows a group of huskies interacting successfully with two adult wild polar bears for unexplained reasons. The bears act as if they're playing with the huskies like they're their own cubs, demonstrating remarkable relationships formed between them. The only certain thing to say is, these bears are clearly not hungry. Is this the beginning of an apocalypse or a ghostly attack? In the city center, mysterious figures vanished into the air. Misty giants were captured by a drone's camera during a carnival in San Pedro. These strange figures, resembling winged demons, ascended and quickly disappeared into the darkness. You might say these are merely smoke plumes from powerful fireworks, nothing special. However, there's no evidence to support this footage. The mysterious figure that a drone captured standing on a sidewalk and posted on Facebook sparked numerous debates on social media. Tall with wings like an angel, yet horns like a demon, this dark entity instinctively instilled fear as something paranormal. Some dubbed it a winged agent of the devil, while others called it a fallen angel. Skeptics claimed it could be shadows from a tree or skillful Photoshop work. Although this enigmatic image was removed from the internet just a few days later, people still wonder whether it was something supernatural or if a partygoer from a nightclub dressed as a winged demon decided to entertain passers-by. According to superstitions, Abandoned places are always inhabited by ghosts. To explore one such abandoned site, a guy decided to fly a drone over it. His surprise was palpable when he noticed a silhouette near one of the walls, reminiscent of a woman in white clothes with flowing hair. As the drone approached the ground, the strange figure became clearer, as if a ghostly lady was facing the wall. The figure's proportions compared to the wall's height were convincingly human-like. What could it have been? Did the drone truly manage to capture a ghost on camera? Do you enjoy flying over a graveyard at night? Apparently, the drone owner decided to test his nerves this way. What did he expect to see there? Or whom? He surely regretted his decision when his drone brought him something truly unsettling. The clip started with a smooth drone flight over graves and monuments, just like in a good horror movie. Suddenly, 
things got much scarier when a strange transparent figure, highly resembling a ghost, appeared near one of the fences. The horror escalated when this misty form lifted into the air and dissolved into the darkness. No one has encountered this ghost again, and many years have passed since the incident. The drone's camera managed to capture a mysterious scene from above. It filmed two groups of people on an abandoned site observing an excavator. They weren't burying peculiar crates. These were coffins, placed one after another in a long trench. The video quickly went viral on the internet and made headlines until a convincing explanation was provided for this grim story. The footage was shot in 2020, during the peak of the pandemic. Due to the high mortality rate and the threat of spreading the terrifying virus, the process of mass burial for epidemic victims was carried out with the utmost caution and was much more complex than regular funerals. The coffins were sealed and placed in a remote location far from the city and ordinary cemeteries, resembling the practices of the Middle Ages when plague victims were isolated from church graveyards. However, someone had to carry out this sorrowful task. Thus, Digging graves for the numerous victims in New York was assigned to inmates who were provided with protective suits. And in some places, like in India, they even use cremation. Sometimes appearing in the frame and at other times dissipating into thin air, this strange figure seemed to be attempting to stop the flying drone. The person operating the camera near Fort McClellan in Alabama was astonished to notice the mysterious figure standing under a lamppost. What was it doing there in the middle of the night? As if realizing it was being filmed by the drone, the figure tries to hide behind a pillar and inexplicably disappears from the scene, as if it, or he, was never there. Goat, human, alien, or some other mythical creature. We're still unsure about this unknown entity living in an abandoned cave. While the drone was flying over uncharted caverns, someone decided to take a look inside and what appeared on the screen greatly intrigued them. Their imagination conjured up an odd bipedal creature with horns and limbs resembling those of a goat. But the strangest part was that the creature didn't hide. Instead, it began to spy on the flying apparatus in return, ducking behind a wall. Since it was too dark inside the cave, a complete view couldn't be obtained. Whether it was a devil or just an ordinary goat remains a mystery. Stepping into a time portal like in the movies, do you think it's possible in reality? Let's analyze this video. Drone footage shows a person walking along the sidewalk, then breaking into a run, taking a few steps and suddenly disappearing. Some doubted that these shots could be manipulated. Special effects no longer surprise anyone. Others speculated that the guy was the actual time traveler. It was even claimed that the captured video was evidence of spontaneous teleportation, as everything seemed too obvious. Either way, that guy really vanished. A young YouTuber was searching for new content ideas and decided to explore a rural road that led through forests by launching a drone over it. And it turned out to be a good idea. Within view, a strange character appeared, a man standing on the road, dressed in a clown costume. However, it was clear he had no intention of entertaining anyone. The mysterious clown walked along the road and then suddenly tried to knock down the drone by throwing rocks at it. When he failed, the clown hurried to hide among the trees and set up an ambush for the flying eye. He then reappeared from under the trees and attempted to hit the drone with stones. There's no real mystique here, but something definitely isn't right. In such an attire, the figure on the road could either be a lunatic or a highway robber. From a bird's eye view, a person piloted their drone over a field when suddenly, inside the walls of an abandoned house in the middle of the field, they spotted a strange black figure. The unknown silhouette emerged from one wall and seemed to enter another. It moved like a person, walking before disappearing from sight. Even after enhancing the captured footage multiple times, the person couldn't determine what it was. Clearly something mysterious, attempting to evade human observation. 
An unidentified, shimmering, amorphous object appeared in the sky, which after a few seconds changed its position to resemble a humanoid figure, as claimed by the drone owner who captured the video. This extraterrestrial or UFO was hovering at an altitude of about 10,000 feet and altered its shape as it descended. Some suggested it might be a traveler from another planet equipped with a flying device. In reality, what explanation would you propose? Case 4. Two guys were retrieving their stuck drone from a tree when suddenly, something else caused them to get stuck in the woods, and this remains a mystery to the material world. It definitely wasn't a bear, nor an animal. So the guys decided to film the presumed creature. But as the drone got closer, the creature looked less and less like a humanoid crawling on all fours and digging something in the ground. This hairless white body didn't resemble a monkey, and the creature was clearly searching for something. Nothing like it has been discovered to this day. This time, we observe a dog chasing something unclear. Do you see the cryptid being fearlessly running along the road? The unidentifiable biped, possibly of extraterrestrial origin about three feet long, runs along the roadside, obviously escaping from a pursuing dog and suddenly disappears. Maybe it jumped into a garbage bin? Accusing the clip of being fake would be unfair, as we see that the dog is bewildered, having lost its target. But we saw it too, didn't we? This person launched their drone over the snowy land. But suddenly, out of nowhere, a strange giant bipedal creature appeared from under the trees and disappeared under the thick canopies, then re-emerged on the other side of the forest. Its gait resembled a humanoid creature, or a very large, ape-like being. Who was this unknown hairy biped, fearlessly striding through the forest as if at home? It's still interesting whether all indigenous tribes have become civilized, or if somewhere in the Amazon forests, native settlements are still hidden. A researcher interested in the lives of these tribes decided to use his camera and patience to discover such people. And he was lucky to capture a rare footage. He documented an indigenous inhabitant who, as believed, was the last remaining member of an isolated tribe in the Brazilian Amazon. His body was covered with leaves instead of clothes, and he was single-handedly felling large trees, not even noticing that someone was spying on him. Although it's claimed that the Brazilian government had been monitoring him for over 10 years. It turns out that there are still unexplored corners on our planet and people untouched by the progress of modern civilization. One of the tribes, isolated in the Amazon forests, still lives in the Stone Age. They were discovered from the air in 2017 by a Brazilian expedition team, which captured video of them using powerful cameras from a helicopter. This indigenous tribe lives in huts made of leaves and wood, surrounded by dense forest. The men cover their bodies with red paint and use simple tools and weapons. It makes one wonder how much longer they will be able to maintain such a way of life in isolation. The Dead Sea, as it turns out, is not entirely dead. A drone captured astonishing footage there. On an island amidst the salty expanse, a tree grows in complete solitude on an isolated island about 100 meters from the shore. At first, it was assumed to be a work of art, created by human hands, since the Dead Sea is the only body of water where life cannot exist. However, upon closer inspection of this mysterious trunk, it was discovered to be a genuine living tree that has taken root in the salt formations. It's unknown how it managed to grow there and how long it will live, but the fact remains, life triumphs over salt. This time, the drone captured a rare natural phenomenon that astonished Canadians in 2011. Stormy weather brought not only strong winds, but also a strange spectacle. A cloud took the shape of a massive face with a distinct nose and clearly visible human features. This massive sculpture proudly floated through the sky above the amazed crowd of witnesses. It wasn't just the imagination of a single observer. The giant's face, resembling Einstein, was seen by at least all the residents of that town. Or perhaps it was Zeus the Thunderer. A drone isn't always just a toy to capture unusual moments on camera. 
Sometimes these devices become helpers and even saviors. The drone owner saw a post about a missing beautiful dog, a cute white Labrador, resembling the luck dragon from the cult movie The Never-Ending Story. For over 10 days, the man tried to find and rescue the lost animal, whose owners had lost hope of ever seeing their beloved pet again. And then, during another flight, after 15 minutes over a dense forest, he spotted an unmoving white spot on the ground and headed into the thicket. It's fortunate that the drone records the location, making it possible to find the exact spot where the object is. The dog was found, and the man was able to retrieve it and return it to its owner. This is a story with a happy ending, and the white color of the dog played a decisive role in the search using the drone. The owner of this drone captured the pristine nature of the wilderness with a high-resolution camera and managed to capture this captivating standoff between a moose and a wolf. The moose stood ankle-deep in the water at the shore of Lake Ontario, and the guy decided to move the drone to get a closer look. But before he could send it back into the sky, a wolf suddenly emerged from the bushes and attacked the moose, latching onto its skin. The majestic animal showed cleverness and refused to give in. The moose dragged the wolf to such a depth that it had to retreat. This time, the drone managed to capture one of the most heart-wrenching moments in the wild, caught on camera during the annual animal migration season at the Mara River in Kenya. A group of about a dozen hungry Nile crocodiles feasted on an unfortunate zebra. It became their prey while crossing the river with its herd. The crocodiles swarmed like flies to a feast, and we can see them delighting in tearing off chunks for themselves. It's not just zebras that can meet a grim fate. Anyone who crosses a river inhabited by crocodiles is in danger. You might think we're showing you a rainworm under a microscope, but look further. It's a python that excels at camouflage and poses a threat to anyone who comes close. Thanks to engineer's invention, these drones can locate cold-blooded animals even in the dark. The latest equipment effectively detects and tracks pythons, even at night. The thermal image shows not only huge pythons, but also local snakes, measuring only 18 inches, which makes it easier for hunters to catch dangerous snakes. How do you like the idea of flying to visit like-minded people in a terrarium? The drone dared to visit the lair where snakes were intertwined in countless numbers, ready to expend their deadly venom. Looking from a bird's eye view at the dry, overgrown terrain, the operator discovered a snake pit with a cheerful family of rattlesnakes. At first, they were not bothered by the presence of the drone, but when the device approached to get a closer look, one of the snakes lunged at the drone, and others immediately followed her example to drag it into their dreadful pit. A swift but striking clip. Hovering over snow-covered mountains, the drone captured a male snow leopard chasing a mountain goat. It seemed like the goat knew the path better, leaping over snow-covered gaps in the rocks and maintaining its grip on the surface. The luck wasn't as kind to the snow leopard, despite being a predator. It slipped from the edge of a steep cliff, a fall that would mean a thousand-foot drop through a narrow and steep gorge into a frozen river. A single leap could cost its life. However, when we say the snow leopard was less lucky, we mean that it still was lucky enough to survive and see another day. On this snow-covered land, the drone managed to capture a hunter's dream, an adult male moose wandering through the forest. But the most thrilling part and the true spectacle began when this majestic animal suddenly shook its head, as if warding off negative thoughts. And then, like props in a performance, a pair of enormous antlers lifted into the air and landed on both sides of the moose. Where else would you see something like this? But capturing a rare moment isn't enough. You can also obtain a valuable trophy, which the drone operator took advantage of. He quickly reached the spot to claim a pair of beautiful branching antlers. A very heartwarming clip in which we'll find ourselves rooting for a little one learning about life. We see a mother bear and her cub climbing on loose snow up a rocky peak. They keep slipping and starting over, 
wasting their energy on unsuccessful attempts to climb. Finally, the mother quickly regains her balance and reaches the top of the rock, waiting for her cub who was trying hard to reach the peak. However, due to the loose snow and its small weight, the cub slips at the last moment and starts sliding down a snowy slope. It would have been funny if the slope hadn't led to sharp rocks and a sheer drop at the bottom. No, this can't be allowed to happen. The mother stands at the top, watching her cub slide lower and lower into the abyss. A horrifying moment, but the cub doesn't give in to panic. It starts climbing bravely again and manages to reach the top, where the mother patiently waits. Surely she must have been very proud of them in that moment. This video is as mesmerizing as hypnosis. A herd of reindeer in Russia moves together like a swirling cyclone. Several individuals find themselves at the center, in the eye of the hurricane, standing motionless, while the rest, like an enchanted centrifuge, cuts circle after circle without any human control. Is there a convincing reason for this strange behavior? According to specialists, this dance is a unique rehearsal of the rearguard, a warning against panic in the herd during a mass attack. Through this circular formation, attacking predators, or humans, cannot break through, and the more vulnerable individuals, females and calves, remain at the center of the swirling spiral. From above, this looks quite surreal, and someone must still command stop. Alarmed by a flying camera, a mountain ram decided to strike it with its powerful horns. The quadcopter was hovering over mountain terrain and spotted this grazing ram. To get a closer look, it decided to approach at the maximum possible distance without provoking the animal's anger. However, the horned creature didn't like this idea and quickly sent the drone into the bushes with a precise headbutt. It's best to be cautious about stepping into the ring with this Australian boxer. A group of kangaroos was minding its own business when a drone operator suddenly invaded their personal space. Seeing the persistent buzzing bird hovering above him, one kangaroo felt it was his duty to take action and began to relentlessly chase the drone. Employing a zigzag pursuit tactic to shake off the intruder, or rather, in flighter, the Australian Guardian finally got the opportunity to deliver a knockout blow to the apparatus. John landed, leaving a lesson for others. Never encroach on kangaroo territory. Here's what happens when you send a drone into the den of the most curious creature. It seems that cheetahs also dislike being spied on. It all started innocently enough when the copter came to get acquainted with the life of a cheetah in a national park in South Africa. But the sensitive feline ears were bothered by the noise emanating from the strange hovering device, and the cheetah managed to jump high enough to reach the airborne intruder. The drone crashed to the ground with a beeping signal of surrender, but fortunately it was retrieved, albeit with a few scratches. Bears are usually considered the deepest sleepers. They say sleeping like a bear. But you simply haven't seen how a group of elephants doze off. And despite the belief that elephants only sleep standing, this family has flopped down on the ground. Watch, they're literally sleeping like logs. But no, they're alive and you'll see a baby elephant crawling on its sleeping mother. Doesn't this scene remind you of something? At first glance, it may seem that the ocean is teeming with billions of jellyfish, but to your surprise, these tiny creatures scattered across the water's surface are actually green sea turtles. This spectacle of a massive congregation of turtles was captured by a group of scientists using a camera during aerial photography of the Great Barrier Reef in Australia. According to marine biologists, the mass gathering of around 64,000 turtles is a normal phenomenon. All these armored reptiles were waiting for their moment to come ashore to lay their eggs, creating the largest turtle nesting event here. This drone, while capturing the coastline near Sandy Beach in Northumberland, discovered a huge beached whale carcass that had been washed ashore onto the rocks. Presumably, this several-foot-long sperm whale might have died due to asphyxiation after getting stranded, much like a regular fish out of water. But experts weren't entirely sure. 
It was already challenging to determine the exact cause of its death, as most of the organs had decomposed, and a massive dead sperm whale was a rare sight, considering these deep-sea mammals hardly visit the British coast. And predators get rescued too. These guys are truly brave to attempt such a thing. Drone footage captured the moment when several rescuers tried to save a beached orca. A total of seven orcas ended up on the Argentine beach, practically lying on the sand, until they were noticed by volunteer rescuers along with marine biologists. Together, they managed to save six of the orcas, but unfortunately, the seventh one died. No one knows why the orcas were stranded or whether they intentionally beached themselves, and it would require at least a necropsy to determine the true cause of the animal's death. It's unlikely that without a drone, a massive marine mammal floating near the surface could have been spotted. This clip was taken from the air in the Mediterranean Sea, where an oceanographic team found a whale with a pronounced spinal curvature. It's quite puzzling how a massive 55-foot whale could have such a body deformation and still be alive. Did it become a victim of some trauma? Later studies conducted by biologists revealed that this rare condition was related to a severe case of scoliosis, an abnormal spinal curvature. The ocean is home to many rare forms of life, and one of these majestic creatures fortunately made it into the camera lens of a drone. A few years ago in September, off the coast of Western Australia, a drone was launched for aerial photography of a whale population, and among them was a rare white-colored calf frolicking and playing with its supermom in the ocean waves. Truly an incredible sight, as only 5% of gray whale calves are born white, and according to experts, the white color won't stay with them for life. Within the first year, this young whale will darken to the typical gray color. I wonder where it is now and which depths. Captured from above by a drone, these two gray whales are swimming together during their annual migration. But they are not alone on their journey, and they have enemies. They are pursued by orcas. These predators often attack the calves or the young whales, which are much more vulnerable than the adults. But here we see how the orcas take turns ramming the adult gray whales and biting their pectoral fins. According to the person who captured this breathtaking video, there were at least 16 orcas attacking relentlessly, inflicting wounds on the whales. The large gray whales defended themselves with their massive tails and eventually reached shallow waters, surviving the ordeal. You certainly won't see this every day. Lucky that the drone was able to capture this moment so vividly. It's beautiful, touching, and unsettling all at once. Hovering over the waters of Argentina, the drone witnessed a majestic giant approaching a swimmer on a stand-up paddleboard, Siup. A southern right whale decided to help the paddler and gently nudged the board with its flipper. Perhaps it was having fun, or maybe it thought the swimmer needed assistance since they weren't moving. The whale disappeared into the depths, and then returned with a companion, another member of its pod. Both swam right alongside the board, and it's incredibly remarkable to see how delicate their interactions with the board were. Truly a rare sight showcasing the high intelligence of these remarkable animals. Imagine what the person on the SUP must have felt. It would be fascinating to hear their story. From above, this spectacle resembles a cluster of dots. What is this black pattern on the white canvas? These awe-inspiring shots were taken by a group of scientists during aerial photography. They were studying a mega-colony of over 1.5 million rare penguins in Antarctica, which were once thought to be extinct. However, during an expedition to this Arctic region in 2015, Experts were astonished to discover millions of birds nesting on the rocky shore. The identification of these unique penguins helped experts formulate plans for the future to protect this species. Nature isn't always cute and idyllic. Sometimes, while flying over a beautiful coastline, you can come across something alarming. Like, for example, this. Two years ago, a drone was capturing footage of a charming island near Florida when it accidentally stumbled upon a massive aggregation of black tip sharks ranging from one and a half to two meters in length in the ocean. They put on a real show, 
swimming, flipping, leaping out of the water, behaving as if they were part of some special event. While these sharks are quite rare and not a significant threat to humans, all beachgoers were warned to stay away from the shark-infested waters. Some people in search of extreme experiences come up with the most unusual and dangerous ideas. But perhaps attaching fireworks to drones and controlling them while shooting them off is taking it too far. In the video, we can see a group of people who boldly tempt fate and enjoy explosive fun on a snowy field. While it may look spectacular, it's hard to understand what's going on in the minds of these individuals running around with flares in hand, dodging the projectiles fired by the drone. Perhaps they need more adrenaline than the average person. However, despite this, the drone demonstrates excellent accuracy in hitting targets, which could be utilized for more practical purposes. For instance, creating a new invention capable of deterring unruly cyclists. Nature has always been a goddess, mighty and unpredictable. And when she decides to strike back, even the mightiest heroes become defenseless. This aerial footage of a waterfall in a small forest in Maui, Hawaii, was the perfect getaway for a group of tourists to escape the hustle and bustle of city life and enjoy the beauty of nature. However, they could never have anticipated how cruel nature could be. Swift waters rushed into their location, causing a major flood. One of the tourists tried to cling to rocks but eventually fell and was drowning in the water, but, like a hero with a sword in hand, the drone was on guard. It became the decisive factor that saved the tourists' lives by summoning helicopters and signaling their location. Without it, the tourists could have been lost forever in this torrent of madness. In Ukraine, there's an abandoned radar station called Duga, which has become the most famous object in the Chernobyl exclusion zone. Duga is a radar system created for early detection of intercontinental ballistic missile launches. Even though there are no official tours of this once secret facility, with the help of a drone, you can see this enormous structure from a distance. When it looms on the horizon, it creates the impression of a surreal spectacle. From afar, the station looks like a massive wall, but as we examine it closer using the drone, it becomes apparent that it's actually a vast, decayed structure with numerous antennas. In a world where technology is advancing at an incredible pace, search drones have become true heroes, saving lives and assisting law enforcement agencies in fulfilling their tasks. Both in real life and in cinema, we often witness these small and clumsy machines performing real wonders. In one instance, a British police drone became a true lifesaver. With its help, a 75-year-old man who had been missing for an entire day was located. It showcased its abilities by flying closer to marshes than any helicopter could. It saved a person's life, proving that these small devices can indeed achieve great deeds. However, search drones not only save lives, but also assist in criminal investigations. This was the case with the Daytona Beach police. One suspect disappeared after a robbery, and the police were so puzzled that they couldn't locate him for a long time. But the drone was the guardian of justice, and with its help, the criminal was found on the rooftop of a building. China is a country that never ceases to amaze with its remarkable achievements and the challenges it faces. One such example is a unique pasture landscape that might seem colorful and beautiful, but in reality conceals deep problems. Due to the boom in production and population growth, China has faced environmental pollution and carbon emissions issues. To combat these problems, a bike-sharing program was launched to encourage people to use bicycles instead of cars. However, this program encountered an incredible number of problems. Manufacturing companies started producing bicycles that exceeded the population's needs, leading to a massive accumulation of abandoned bicycles on Chinese streets, like buried treasures from the past, capturing attention and astonishing with their quantity. Up next, we have a mysterious and slightly eerie estate captured by a drone in Ireland. This house was built in 1872 and belonged to one family for over half a century until it was destroyed by a fire in 1923. 
Dense forest has grown around the estate for almost a century, making access extremely difficult, as even the roof is not visible due to the trees. But using a drone to get closer, you can see that the house is covered in greenery, not only on the outside, but also inside. It looks very beautiful and mysterious from an aerial perspective. We can all imagine how the famous Niagara Falls look during the summer, but let's take a look at this winter wonderland. Thanks to very low temperatures, Niagara Falls has turned into a partially frozen enchantment. The falls almost never freeze completely due to the massive water flow that is always active. The last time Niagara Falls partially froze was in 2019, and the last time they fully froze was back in 1848. This was a true shock for the local residents. It's important to remember that Niagara Falls is a marvelous natural phenomenon that always evokes admiration and astonishment. The winter appearance of the falls creates the impression of a fairy tale frozen world, which is a unique and rare sight. In the next video, we will tell you about one of the most mysterious and fascinating phenomena of our planet, crop circles. Since their first appearance in the 1980s, they have captured the attention of many researchers and enthusiasts of the unusual. These mysterious patterns in fields look as if they were created by something non-human, so symmetrical and precise that it seems as though they were made using lasers or other high-tech equipment. But despite all the theories, the true origin of these designs remains a mystery to this day. Many speculate that they were created by aliens, while others are convinced that they are merely artistic expressions of farmers. However, even if that's the case, how can one explain the perfection and symmetry of these figures? It still remains an enigma. The most beautiful natural park in Brazil is called Lançois Maranhenses. It is located right by the shores of the Atlantic Ocean. In this astonishing place, there are large hills made of very white sand, which can be as tall as four-story houses. Additionally, there are magnificent lakes here. Interestingly, the sand hills and lakes are constantly shifting under the influence of the wind. So every time we come here, we see new beautiful landscapes that have just formed. Moreover, there are green islands of mangrove trees where various animals live. And these shots were taken from a drone from an altitude of several dozen meters. This seemingly ordinary piece of desert may, in a decade, be adorned with skyscrapers. Hundreds or even thousands of these green dump trucks are at work, turning the ambitious project into reality. When trash appears on power lines and sending a person there becomes dangerous, drones equipped with flamethrowers come to the rescue. Recently in China, an innovative approach was used, employing drones with flamethrowers to remove plastic bags and debris that get stuck on power lines. The flamethrower-equipped drone carries a significant payload of 25 pounds and is operated by a specialist using a 14-channel remote control. Workers demonstrated the removal of a long nylon net that had entangled on the power lines. By launching the drone, they were able to precisely and safely burn it off in 10 minutes. Afterward, the power transmission line was able to resume its normal operation and the electricity supply was restored. Karst sinkholes are a remarkable natural phenomenon that occurs all around the world and has various causes. Recently, the number of these gigantic pits has significantly increased in the Turkish province of Kanya. Just three or four years ago, there were no more than 200 of them, and now their number has grown several times over. To imagine their size, it can be said that some of these pits have a width of 100 meters and a depth of 90 meters. According to experts, such sinkholes can form due to the drying up of underground waters. Local residents view this as a genuine marvel, as no one has fallen into the earth or been harmed so far. Now let's talk about the exciting rescue involving a dangling sausage. You may have noticed that sausages have an incredible enticing aroma. It was precisely this aroma, along with the assistance of a specialized drone, that allowed volunteers to rescue a lost dog. This dog, named Millie, accidentally slipped off her leash and disappeared while walking with her owner in the south of England. Finding her was crucial, 
as she could have ended up in a dangerous place. After extensive searches, Millie was discovered stuck amidst treacherous sandy flats that could get flooded during high tide. Volunteers tried to approach Millie on foot and in kayaks, but she didn't trust them and was scared. Instead of heading towards safety, she was moving deeper into the dangerous flats. One of the volunteers came up with a brilliant idea, using a drone with a dangling sausage. A local resident agreed to cook delicious sausages, and Millie followed them. It looked strange to see a sausage dangling from a drone, but as they say, if it works, it's not stupid. In the end, thanks to a simple sausage, Millie was reunited with her owner. Once, the beautiful city of Tianjin was struck by an incredible catastrophe that forever changed its appearance. A fiery hell broke out at the city's port, where an initial fire ignited in a container warehouse, setting off a chain reaction of destruction. However, no one could have anticipated how dire the consequences would be. 800 tons of ammonium nitrate exploded, and the powerful shockwave shook not only the city, but also the surrounding areas. As the ground trembled from the impact, a drone soared into the sky, the only means to gain an aerial perspective of what was happening there. Thanks to these flying cameras, the demolished buildings, burnt vehicles, and streets filled with dust and smoke were captured. But most importantly, the drone played a crucial role in aiding rescuers. It allowed them to quickly identify the locations of victims and organize rescue operations. Thanks to this device, Many lives were saved that could have otherwise been lost on that dreadful day. The Tianjin catastrophe reminded the world of how fragile and unpredictable the forces of nature can be. In Florida, there's a problem related to the lionfish. This predator originally appeared in American waters in the 1980s when it was brought from the South Pacific as a popular aquarium pet. Now it haunts the eastern U.S. coast and the Bermuda Islands, dwelling in salt water. In some areas, their numbers reach hundreds of individuals per kilometer. They possess a voracious appetite and have few natural predators, making them nearly uncontrollable. To combat this issue, a controlled drone equipped with a harpoon gun was developed to exterminate these fish. It can catch around 150 specimens at a time, then quickly reloads and is ready for use again. A prototype of this apparatus is currently being tested, aiming to eliminate a thousand of these fish per day. This is a crucial step in tackling these harmful fish to protect the local ecosystem and preserve biodiversity in marine waters. It seems that drones can provoke not only fear and anger in humans, but also in animals, as exemplified by our main character, an energetic kangaroo. The video captured the moment when the animal decided to deal with a drone that was observing its group. Kangaroos, known for their high agility, can cover impressive distances with just a few leaps. These creatures can jump up to 25 feet in a single bound, showcasing their physical prowess. It's important to note that kangaroos use not only their legs, but also their powerful tails, which serve as an additional limb. Perhaps these animals sense a threat or are simply asserting their dominance in their territory. In the world of technology, a new astonishing product has emerged, a flying hoverboard. Now everyone can feel as if they're soaring in the air, just like a real superhero. This news delights adventure enthusiasts because soon it will be accessible to all. And if you watch the video, you can see how it flies without any problems. It's capable of carrying a person and hovering in the air for some time. However, it's worth noting that these hoverboards won't be available to everyone, as they cost from forty dollars to $50,000 each. Furthermore, only a person weighing up to 200 pounds can use such a device. Currently, Hoverboards are being created only through individual orders and in limited quantities. In the deserts and valleys of Nazca, there are often long periods without rain. However, the ancient Nazca population, known as the Nazca Civilization, managed to survive and thrive in this region thanks to an underground aqueduct system called Pukyos. It consisted of tunnels underground, small reservoirs, 
and unique spiral openings that led from the surface down to the water. Currently, the Pukyos are poorly studied because they haven't been systematically excavated, but drones are now being used to study them. Next, I'll tell you about an unusual natural phenomenon on the island of Mauritius. Yes, Mauritius has beautiful beaches and clear water, but that's not all. 160 kilometers away from the island, there's an amazing underwater waterfall. But it's not an actual waterfall. It's a play of light and water. Underwater, there are strong currents that collide with the seabed, where there are coral reefs, sand, and other objects. Because of this, the currents resemble swirling streams cascading into the ocean. It looks like a real waterfall, only underwater. Beginning of the form. A Japanese company has created a new drone with robotic arms capable of performing various tasks right in the air. This claw-equipped drone can deliver water and rescue equipment, as well as carry heavy objects, much like a bird of prey. It was first showcased at a Las Vegas exhibition. It can carry a payload of about 25 pounds and fly for up to 30 minutes at a speed of around 35 miles per hour. This claw drone can perform different tasks at great heights, over long distances, and in hazardous areas where humans find it challenging to work. It can grab cargo, cut cables, turn handles, press buttons, deploy rescue equipment, and retrieve hazardous materials. The internet is abuzz with discussions about this drone, and people are sharing their thoughts on its capabilities. It could prove useful in various fields, from rescue operations to industry. The next incredible drone rescue took place in February of 2023, a 23-year-old tourist from India named Babu got trapped in a crevice on a hill. He had climbed the hill with two friends, and as they descended, he slipped and fell into a deep ravine. After over 40 hours, he was located using a drone, and after an additional five hours, he was successfully rescued. Can you believe that a drone captured this in Mexico? It looks like some kind of island inside a volcano! Many started speculating that it might be a portal to another world or something similar. Unfortunately, it's impossible to verify because the place is covered in lava, making it inaccessible on foot. We'll have to be content with drone shots, so we can only guess how this mini island ended up inside the volcano and what it represents. Share your theories in the comments. The Loch Ness Monster There have been so many questions and debates about it on the internet, partly due to drone footage like this. According to the source, in the famous freshwater reservoir in the UK, people captured the image of a mysterious creature whose silhouette can be seen through the water. It's obviously not a shark, as its size doesn't match. Yet the true identity of the creature in the recording remains unknown. What do you know about chimpanzees? Honestly, I haven't been very interested in the topic of primates. I only know that their IQ levels range between 75 and 95 points, while 100 points are considered normal for human development. And if any of you doubt that, here's direct evidence. Somewhere in a park in the Netherlands, a man decided to fly his drone and film the habitat of some chimpanzees. He flew too close, and suddenly a chimpanzee attacked the flying object. It knocked down the drone, quickly approached it, and even took a selfie. How cute. If you think only monkeys hunt drones, that's not entirely true. There are other members of the animal kingdom who don't appreciate these innovative gadgets, such as the grizzly bear. Yes, adult male grizzlies can weigh around 500 kilograms, but that didn't stop one from chasing a drone. The owner of the gadget was lucky enough to take off and save his flying camera. It was a close call, as the bear's length is about 4 meters, and reaching the drone was a real possibility. And now, I'll show you probably my favorite photo, and the most fascinating moment for me. Maybe it's because it was taken in Russia, or maybe because my favorite polar bears are involved. Right on Kolyuchin Island in the Chukotka Sea, a photographer captured bears that settled in an abandoned weather station. The station has been deserted for about 30 years. In the late 1980s, there were only a few people there, and in 1992 it was announced closed. However, 
The bears have no idea about it and roam around in blissful ignorance. Social media users actively repost the photos and ask two questions. How did the photographer get so close to the models? And how did he manage to make them pose so beautifully? The answer to both questions is the same. The cute bears weren't posing. They were attentively observing the quadcopter from which this unique shot was taken. I'm sure most of you have heard or even seen this phenomenon. Of course, the first thing that comes to mind is that they are just man-made, with some gardeners engraving certain patterns and passing them off as something alien. However, if you delve into the history of this phenomenon, you'll find that the first crop circles were noticed back in the 17th century. At that time, people attributed them to demons. Interestingly, as time went on, the patterns became more extensive and the new designs turned out to be more and more complex. Some resemble ovals, others look like pentagons and some are other geometric shapes. But the fact remains that their true nature remains undetermined. Perhaps they are messages from space, containing some hidden meaning, or maybe it's an elaborate prank by the Gardener Society. Who knows? When you hear the word well, many people probably think of a small well at a country house where in childhood it seemed bottomless. But could you imagine that someone could create such massive holes in the earth using a drone? After seeing them, one can't help but feel sorry for Mother Nature. Some of these holes are over 400 meters deep, with diameters of 40 meters or more. Looking at a person next to these wells, they seem so insignificant. It's just mind-blowing. I wonder what the chances of survival would be if someone fell inside. Something tells me they would be close to zero, not even a fraction of a percent. Now what fascinates me as much is how these people developed such strong nerves. They deliberately formed a group and ventured into a place where, besides diving, they managed to capture unforgettable footage with a drone. In the videos, you can see a real shark swimming just a few meters away from the group. Surprisingly, they didn't seem frightened at all because they knew what to do in case of an attack. Frankly, I'm not sure it was a good idea. Even though they were lucky this time, and the shark didn't show any interest. If it had rapidly approached and knocked one of them into the water, I doubt anyone or anything could have helped them. The damage could have been irreversible. Overall, I'm against such risky shoots, even though they might be insanely interesting, captivating, and unique. Now let's briefly return from the world of the frightening and perplexing to our everyday city and concerns. There was one guy who wanted to test his wife's faithfulness. He had a feeling that things weren't going according to plan and his suspicions turned out to be correct. Well, see for yourself. He took a drone, flew it high enough so his wife couldn't hear or see it, and followed her movements. Leaving the house, she walked to the nearest store where a car picked her up. She kissed the driver and got into the vehicle. Surprisingly, this situation didn't ruin their relationship. On the contrary, they worked things out and found new reasons to trust each other, Nevertheless, people never attempt such things yourself. Firstly, it's illegal to use drones in such a manner. And secondly, it's really creepy. Now let's shift our attention to Switzerland and see what unfortunately happened there not long ago. A landslide struck a simple village, sweeping away everything in its path. It looked incredibly unusual from the outside, almost like an attack by some symbiotic creature. Fortunately, the Swiss were prepared and had specially constructed channels to divert the mud flow away from properties, but the damage was still significant. Bicycles. They say they are good for both health and the environment. China thought so too, which led to an incredible craze for bicycles. However, at some point, demand outstripped supply, and it resulted in this consequence, a literal bicycle graveyard looking quite unusual, to say the least. To be honest, from a bird's eye view, I initially thought it was just an ordinary park. The Amazon rainforests are a place many people would love to visit, but they also understand the risks and, as a result, hesitate to embark on such a journey. It's much better and safer to observe the forests from a distance, say, through a drone. 
these flying machines recently stumbled upon something even more unexpected than expected. They encountered members of an unknown tribe called the Funai, with whom there had been no contact before. One person from the tribe held a spear, and another was cutting down trees. Well, thanks for the report, but I will never venture into those forests, that's for sure. Seeing a huge plane dropping loads of fish into the water for the first time, each of you would undoubtedly be puzzled. Like, what on earth is happening? In reality, there is a reasonable and logical explanation for this process. In a similar manner, people support fish populations in seas and lakes. By the way, what do you think about this? If by any chance one of your friends thinks that a full-grown tiger is not so dangerous, show them this video. A group of researchers decided to film tigers up close using a drone. Presuming that the animals couldn't catch the drone, the pilot flew as close as possible to the predators, capturing stunning shots. However, at one point, something happened that no one in the filming crew expected. The tigers cooperated and brought the drone down, finishing it off with a few bites of their long teeth. Ah, what a pity for the equipment. It's quite expensive these days. Another breathtaking footage was captured by this drone flying over a sunny beach somewhere in Europe. On that day, an intriguing situation occurred. A whale separated from its siblings and somehow found itself all alone on the beach. Nevertheless, this massive creature didn't behave badly or cause any trouble for people. Not at all. It gracefully swam around them and finding its way back, swiftly departed. It's lucky that this beauty was captured from a bird's eye view by the drone. I wonder how those people felt realizing that a real whale was just a few meters away from them. The next equally fascinating footage was shot in Australia. As we all know, Australia is a place with incredibly diverse and unique fauna. In general, this drone video is a direct confirmation of that. Have you ever wanted to see what it's like to be eaten by a crocodile? Well, this drone is happy to show you. Now I suggest we all express our gratitude to this group of scientists who dared to venture towards an active volcano and film these breathtaking shots for us. They didn't take multiple flying devices without a reason. You never know if lava will hit the drone or not. However, according to their own words, they lost about three drones due to extreme temperatures, but the surviving devices allowed them to capture truly awe-inspiring footage of our Earth's mesmerizing beauty and create a 3D map of the terrain. Admit it, the spectacle is simply astonishing. What do you think this is? Smoke from some giant chimney, a fire, or perhaps a swarm of bees? Those who thought of the second option were closer to the right answer. In reality, this is an extremely rare phenomenon called the migration of nocturnal bats. As we're used to seeing and hearing, these creatures are active exclusively during the night. However, as shown in these shots, sometimes they can engage in their migratory flight even during the daylight. Most likely this occurs during the transition between summer and winter when the nocturnal bats are looking for warmer places. Many might think that these shots were taken from some science fiction movie or something similar. But in fact, this is as real as it gets. This is the Coval dos Conchos Hole, located in Portugal. Coval dos Conchos is a reservoir situated in the mountainous region of Serra da Estrela. Tourists call it the Swiss Cheese Lake, and I'm sure you can see why. But don't rush to think it's some natural hole in the ground. In reality, the hole that tourists admire is actually a catchment basin with a width of 48 meters and a depth of 5 meters. It receives water when the water level in the reservoir reaches a certain point. In spring, when birds arrive, or in autumn, when they fly to warmer regions, you can see thousands of feathered creatures gathering in flocks and forming mesmerizing patterns in the sky. They amaze with their synchronicity, dynamism, speed, and captivating aerial maneuvers. This astonishing natural phenomenon is called murmuration and is characteristic of many bird species. Like this post if you too are captivated by watching this marvelous spectacle. And here are shots from a drone that accidentally found an abandoned house in the middle of a dense forest near a river. 
From the outside, it looks like something out of a nightmare. The house has a creepy vibe, and the surrounding atmosphere only adds to the eerie feeling. If I were next to such a structure, I would do everything in my power to leave that place as quickly as possible. Sorry, dear ghosts, but I've watched too many horror movies, and I know that such places can be dangerous. The next video was also captured by a drone in the forest. And once again, it carries a scary and dangerous vibe. Oh, guys, stop going into the woods alone. It should be clear to everyone by now that it's risky. Don't believe me? Well, then watch what this drone recorded. Drones are not only a means to explore the beautiful world from a third-person perspective, but also assist in discovering things that a regular person might never see or learn about. For instance, one Google Maps user stumbled upon this image. It shows someone committing a terrible crime, dragging a body across a pier, and attempting to dispose of it in the water. The police were immediately alerted, but when they arrived at the scene and identified the person captured in the footage, it turned out to be something much more innocent. In reality, it was just a regular person walking their dog, and the unusual tracks were a result of a camera defect. It seems that dolphins also have something like local Olympic Games or something similar because how else can we explain these shots? I still can't fully comprehend what's going on here. The drone captured a pod of dolphins leaping out of the water and racing forward. There were so many of these creatures and it looked like either a massive migration or some real competition. What do you think? Dragons are one of the most popular mythical creatures in the world. Myths and legends about these creatures exist in many cultures, from America and Europe to India and China. Most of the time, dragons were regarded like any other mythical beings. Sometimes they were protectors and saviors, and other times dangerous destroyers. However, their remains have never been found. That's why these images have become so popular. People from Mexico stumbled upon a real dragon, its remains were perfectly preserved, and I find it somewhat alarming. Due to the high-quality appearance of the dragon, I believe this video is a fake. Nature is an amazing thing, and this video is a direct proof. In it, you can see how some forest literally breathes. Now try to say that trees, grass, and everything else don't have feelings and don't breathe. I don't know if this video is fake or if we are watching a real exclusive footage. In any case, I enjoyed the video. What do you think? I'll say it straight away. If you have tripophobia or a fear of small, creepy creatures, then you'd better skip the next episode because in it, you can see some not-so-pleasant creatures crawling out of the sand. There are really a lot of them, like ants. They wriggle, move chaotically. It gives you goosebumps, burr. At first, there are very few of them. Then they become a more or less large bunch. And then, in a moment, they cover the whole beach. It's mind-blowing. This is a phenomenon that every traveler would want to see. It's about blue lava. According to scientists, this is sulfuric gas igniting at 600 degrees Celsius when it interacts with air. It forms a blue flame, which can rise up to five meters high. Then some of the gas condenses into liquid sulfur, which burns with a bright blue flame flowing down the volcano's slope, almost like lava. Some photographers specifically go to Indonesia to capture this extraordinary natural phenomenon. Lighthouses. We all know about these structures, of which there are certainly more than a few in the world. It seems that working there is a regular thing, something people have long gotten used to. But how often have you seen lighthouses that, like this one, are completely alone, deep in the ocean with no contact with the surroundings? Lighthouses surrounded only by huge waves and nothing more. This structure was erected in the sea on a rocky outcrop near the coast. Its height is 47 meters. And this photo, which you are looking at, was taken in 1989. Photographer Jean Gouchard decided to photograph the storm from a helicopter. He also took pictures of the lighthouse 
But it turned out, the storm was so strong that the waves broke the doors of the lighthouse and partially washed out the furniture and other items. At that time, the lighthouse keeper, Theodore Malgorn, was waiting for evacuation. What would you think if someone told you about walking or running on water? Damn! Well, most likely you'd recall the story about Jesus, as well as the Shaolin monks who trained for years to achieve a short run. But generally, you might dismiss these stories as fake. However, how would you react if I show you this video? In it, an ordinary moose ran on water next to people in a boat. As you can understand, the river was deep enough, yet the animal still ran on water. Whether it's some higher being caught on camera by chance, moose having superpowers, or still a fake, share your thoughts in the comments. Did you know that the gate to hell actually exists? At least the following place bears an uncanny resemblance to it. The flaming gas crater in the town of Darvaza, colloquially known as the Gate to Hell, located in the heart of the Karakum Desert about 260 kilometers north of Ashgabat, is a Turkmenistan landmark that captures the attention of scientists and tourists alike. In 1971, Soviet geologists discovered a natural gas deposit in the area and, after drilling a well, triggered a collapse. The upper soil layers collapsed into an underground cavern, creating a large hole filled with gas. To prevent gas poisoning of humans and livestock, the geologists decided to set it on fire, assuming the fire would extinguish over time. However, the gas continues to burn to this day. Space is a part of our world that is quite challenging to explore. It requires immense resources, which means a lot of money. Countries try to study extraterrestrial objects, but they don't always share their findings with the public, at the very least because they themselves don't know what they're dealing with. That's exactly what happened with this thing. An eyewitness discreetly took a photo at a secret base, where they were researching something resembling a triangular UFO. According to the source, this flying object is built using alien technology. But if that's the case, why haven't the US demonstrated their unique aircraft in action? something doesn't seem right. Either it doesn't exist as such, and there are just rumors spread by the United States military themselves, or it's a weapon of the so-called global government. Fire on water. It sounds extremely strange and incomprehensible, doesn't it? After all, everyone understands that it's impossible. But in reality, history has at least one such example up its sleeve. This happened in the Gulf of Mexico in 2021, the ocean's surface caught fire. According to the media, the ignition was due to an accident involving an underwater pipeline of some Mexican state company. The cause was a leak at a depth of 78 meters near an oil platform. Perhaps amidst the thunderstorm and heavy rains, one of their machines was affected, leading to the fire outbreak. Can you imagine how whales sleep? Up until today, I had no idea how this process worked. I was even a bit afraid to imagine, but it turns out these big creatures do manage to sleep somehow, even though they can go without sleep for as long as three months. Well, they practically sleep on the water's surface. Whales' bodies contain a significant amount of lightweight fatty tissue, so the animal's weight only slightly exceeds the specific gravity of water. As a result, a sleeping whale slowly sinks to a depth, then after a while it lashes its tail in its sleep, propelling itself back to the surface. There, it takes a breath and starts the slow descent again, until the next tail strike. Ocean mixing. In my childhood, I often thought about this phenomenon and believed it was impossible. After all, water would inevitably mix with each other, and finding a clear boundary would be unreal. Turns out, I was wrong. Due to water density and the difference in salt levels, surface tension forms between water currents acting like a thin barrier preventing ocean mixing. It really looks like Photoshop from a certain perspective. Don't you agree? Regarding the technologies of humanity, I thought that people simply couldn't have missed encountering UFOs. Someone definitely had to notice them. And judging by this video, it happened quite a while ago. But for some reason, we weren't told about it. Here's the story. If we believe the news, an unidentified flying object can reach speeds exceeding the speed of sound. Because of this, 
it's barely detectable even with advanced technology, let alone with the naked eye from a great distance. It's unclear whether this video is a fake or not, whether there's a real UFO there. We're going against the wind. The wind's 120 knots in the west. Oh, I think, dude. Rotate it. Water turtles. These creatures look like ordinary turtles and don't appear dangerous to humans at all. However, can you imagine what's in their mouths? Yes, agreed. The proposition is quite strange, and not many would think of it. But that's the whole point. It turns out that for these creatures, things inside their mouths look scarier than in a monster's mouth from horror stories. Like if you also didn't expect this from cute turtles. Let's not stray from the topic of turtles and consider another interesting subject. Do you know how fast or slow they are? I'm sure many think that these animals barely move and are unlikely to catch even a bug. But in reality, their speed is much better than we could imagine. The slowest are giant tortoises and Galapagos turtles, with a top speed of 4 kilometers per h, while the fastest are sea turtles. Their speed can easily reach, just think about it, up to 35 kilometers per h. It turns out that the heavier the turtle's shell and the colder it is, the slower its speed. Chernobyl, a city in Ukraine primarily infamous due to the power plant. But you already know all of this perfectly well. So, some folks decided to explore the abandoned area in the restricted zone. It's a quite popular activity among the youth. Nevertheless, they stumbled upon something possibly more interesting. Right in the sky above a nearby house by the road, there was a cloud that resembled something like a UFO. And if we believe all the stories and legends associated with this place, everything will fall into place. However, people are paranoid about unidentified flying objects, not only in the sky, but also underground. To be more precise, somewhere in the deep waters of the Pacific Ocean. Here's a screenshot of scientists' discovery. According to their claims, somewhere there lies a mountain or possibly a sunken alien spacecraft. Why does the second theory hold ground? Well, it's because this so-called mountain is moving. Yes, yes, it was initially located based on certain coordinates, but a couple of weeks later, it was in an entirely different place. Perhaps it's an unexplored scientific phenomenon, affected by the forces of water, or maybe it's indeed an extraterrestrial craft, as its shape is remarkably similar. In 2011, at a similarly great depth as the previously mentioned Enigma, scientists found a strange object. This disc-shaped formation, about 70 meters long, caught researchers' attention due to its unusual configuration. It mostly resembled a spacecraft from science fiction movies. Speculations arose that it was a UFO or even a fragment of the lost Atlantis. However, reality turned out to be much more prosaic. Study by scientists from Stockholm University revealed that it's a geological formation preserved since the Ice Age. Nevertheless, it still sounds pretty epic and cool. Don't you agree? The following case happened with an ordinary man who came to the forest and decided to test his new night vision camera. As soon as he turned it on, he saw many animals in front of him. This was more than expected, as he did come to the forest, not to the main square of the city. The animals' eyes were gleaming, but what gleamed even brighter and more dazzling was only noticed upon reviewing the footage at home. It turned out that at some point, right in front of the camera, there were mysterious lights in the sky. The glow seemed to hypnotize the animals and clearly emanated from some kind of vehicle. Well, since cars still can't fly, draw your own conclusion. And here's an extremely unusual yet amazingly beautiful phenomenon that exists beneath the waters of Antarctica. I'm talking about the formation of ice stalactites there. These hollow ice tubes grow from the icy surface, much like icicles. However, despite some visual resemblance, the mechanisms of forming ice stalactites and regular icicles are significantly different. Honestly, if I didn't know what they were, 
I would have thought that some finger of death was descending from the sky and touching the ocean floor. And what does this remind you of? Let me know in the comments. Do you know the company called SpaceX? Yes, the one associated with Elon Musk. Well, recently, when they launched a capsule with people into space, this kind of shot was captured on the flying object's camera. A mysterious object flew by right next to the capsule. It could either be a meteorite or something else. But the fact remains that it could have resulted in anything if things had gone a little differently. Fortunately, it didn't end in any tragedy. The people arrived intact, completed their mission successfully. And now I will show you something that truly astonishes to the core. These sinkholes, relatively recently discovered in Turkey, the most intriguing part is that they all appeared quite unexpectedly. The round, funnel-shaped pits have massive dimensions, up to several meters in diameter and a depth of about 100, 150 meters. As they expand, they can suck in nearby houses, vehicles, and structures. I don't know about you, but looking at such deep holes in the ground gradually gives me a phobia. The following frames were captured off the coast of California. A diver managed to capture a mysterious purple sphere. It's like a living creature. But neither the diver nor anyone from the scientific community had observed anything like it before. The glowing purple clump measures 5 centimeters in diameter. Scientists speculated that they had discovered a new species of mollusks, known as Kinidarii or Holoturii. They also didn't rule out the possibility that the sphere represents a previously unknown form of life, which would require several years for identification. Oceanologists sent a robot to the bottom that used a vacuum system to suck the sphere onto the ship. There, the creature began to unfold, splitting into two lobes. At this stage, I would already say thank you for not engulfing the entire expedition like in some alien encounter. And here's a discovery that shocked all the scientists. The thing is, completely by chance, something... Um... Something incomprehensible came into people's view, vaguely resembling a living being. But the longer the investigation went on, the clearer the details became. People came to the conclusion that they were looking at the corpse of a little girl who lived thousands of years ago. Interestingly, she still had an ancient scarf the color of the sun around her neck. The exact cause of her death could not be determined. It's either a tragic accident or she was offered as a sacrifice. This man found himself in a situation that nobody would ever wish for. He served as a perfect example of a devoted tribesman. More than 25 years had passed since all his fellow tribespeople perished, but he remained loyal to their shared principles and continued a hermetic life. The press referred to him as the loneliest man in the world and the man from the burrow. Speaking of burrows, he dug them himself and lured animals inside for hunting. As you can see from these clips, people occasionally encountered the ancient man, and some even tried to help him by providing tools, food, or the like. However, no matter how potentially helpful it could have been, he rejected any assistance and remained elusive. Unfortunately, he passed away not long ago, and the cause of his death remains unknown. What is still unknown to me is whether there's anyone on Earth who wouldn't be fascinated by this Ambrim volcano. In my opinion, it's undoubtedly one of the most beautiful and dangerous volcanoes on the planet, located on the eponymous island in the Republic of Vanuatu. Since getting close to witness everything firsthand isn't feasible due to the intense heat, people used special drones to capture these breathtaking shots. The mesmerizing roiling of lava, resembling a lava bath, captivates the eyes. What do you think of this spectacle? Rate it on a 10-point scale in the comments. As you can observe, drones truly help people see things that would be impossible to witness with the naked eye. But beyond that, this device also enables solving even the most seemingly unsolvable tasks. Somewhere in the middle of the night in the United States, 
the police received a call from motorists who witnessed a horrific car accident on the road. The car flipped several times and nearly caught fire. Nevertheless, the driver managed to escape the vehicle and walked away in an unknown direction, seemingly in shock. Upon arriving at the scene, the police promptly utilized a drone equipped with a thermal camera. Hovering over the accident site, the drone quickly detected a person lying 160 meters away from the crash. The police followed the intelligent technology and managed to find the individual. It was this swift response from the officers and the drone that saved the person's life. Modern quadcopters are equipped not only with thermal cameras, but also with the ability to detect radiation levels if configured accordingly. Thanks to this skill, the flying companions of Chernobyl Territory researchers identified a completely new area untouched by humans, which was previously considered uninhabitable for some reason. Nonetheless, it was indeed habitable, and the drone allowed scientists to update the map, providing real-time information on the terrain and warning people of potential hazards. The following story once again proves that drones can be utilized by the police to search for missing persons, especially elderly individuals who might lose their way, forget directions, or experience distress while outside. Living in a remote area like the man in this video means that nobody would notice him or be able to provide information to find him. However, it's precisely for such situations that people invented these special aerial devices. Drones can ascend to great heights, significantly expanding the search area. Additionally, they are equipped with fantastic cameras that leave no missing person unnoticed. These factors proved beneficial for the police and the family who lost their beloved 80-year-old grandfather. They found him alive and well among tall grass, all thanks to the quick reaction of the officers and the drone. On the southeast side of the Spanish island of Gran Canaria in the Guayadeque ravine, a group of amateur archaeologists discovered a large burial cave of aborigines containing the well-preserved mummified remains of at least 72 individuals. And guess what? Drones helped them with this discovery. The cave, which is difficult to access from the ground due to its location at a height of 7 meters, was found using an unmanned aircraft. The device also assisted in determining the exact number of human remains and the overall condition of the cavity. According to preliminary data, the cave's age is approximately 1,000 years. Specialists will obtain more accurate information after analyzing the mummies. Fires are a phenomenon that inevitably inflicts enormous damage on nature. However, there is no escaping them, and the only option is to study their possible occurrence and prevent them with all our might. Sometimes ground images are used for analysis, but they cannot convey the situation even 50% accurately. People have gone further and used helicopters for assistance, but they still don't provide as clear an image as desired. However, recently, Drones have been used to address this problem. Drones do not carry a crew, which means they can fly closer and capture everything needed. Just like in this video. Agree, the footage is incredibly captivating. Next, our subscriber sent us these frames without any explanations to our email. Here we see people in white protective suits carrying something concealed on stretchers near the riverbank. What could it be? 1965. At that time, an aircraft collided with another plane and crashed into Folsom Lake. The search for three people aboard and the plane itself was unsuccessful, until recently. Two men were testing their hydrolocators when their equipment detected something strange at a depth of 50 meters. The unidentified object matched the description of the long-lost aircraft. To confirm its identity, they sent a drone down to the lake's bottom and on the footage, they could clearly see the wreckage of the plane with its propellers and wings. However, they still couldn't find any bodies, but the investigation didn't end there. Who knows, maybe in a couple of years, new details of that fateful day will surface. One of the most beautiful and picturesque places on our planet is the Himalayan mountain range. It is home to a vast number of animals and plants that cannot be found in other parts of the world. 
Recently, it became the site of a stunning discovery that shook the world. With the help of a drone, people found a unique hidden glacier. It was during the shooting of a documentary film when a photographer spent several days capturing the glacier and noticed that it changes its shape and size daily. So, what do you think of this incredible place? Now take a look at this worker climbing a very tall radio tower to perform some annual work. Indeed, this is a challenging job. Especially considering he had no rescue equipment. Oh, wait a second. Let me take that back. The worker was wearing a helmet, which would certainly save him in an emergency situation. The next object captured by the drone's camera definitely needs no additional explanation. I'm talking about the white shark that the people on this boat spotted. They were simply trying to document their crab hunting day and make it memorable when they unknowingly saved their own lives. The hungry white shark was lurking at a shallow depth, waiting for the right moment to attack the fishermen. Fortunately, they realized the danger just in time and left the hazardous area, avoiding a potential disaster. Just as quickly as the previous video subject disappeared, so did the hero of the next video. A YouTuber was capturing amateur footage, showcasing the breathtaking fields around his home for his audience. Suddenly, the drone caught sight of a creepy and frightening orange clown standing right in the middle of the field. He looked apprehensively at the flying object, and within seconds, the stranger started running, trying to hide from prying eyes. I have numerous questions about this video, starting from whether it's a fake to potential criminal implications. Write your thoughts in the comments about this matter. So, this was an hour of the most unbelievable things that have been captured by a drone camera. If you enjoyed the episode and want to see something similar, leave comments, hit the like button, and please write the keyword rocket in the comments. That way I'll know you watched until the very end. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in a day in our new episode.